Hi guys. So in this code, I'm going to show you how to write a code for check permutation. So basically, you're given two strings. Write a method to, to decide if one is a permutation of the other. So real quick, what's the definition of permutation? Permutation just means that they're the same string, but they're in different positions. Positions matter. The order of the characters matter. So we're finding out if, one, if string A is a permutation of string B or vice versa. That's all. Okay, so I'll give you an example. So I, I've set the algorithm here that I'm going to write already. So basically, here's the question. Given two strings, write a method to decide if one is a permutation of the other. So first thing I want to do is this. I want to check if they are the same exact strings. If they are the same exact strings, then return true right away. Because then they're the same strings, uh, like they're in the same exact position. That's what checking if they're the same exact strings are. So then they're permutations of each other. That's it. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to check the lengths of both strings. If the lengths are different, then there's no way for them to be permutation of each other. So that's the other thing. Now, if if the lengths are 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 the same, then you go into it and then you create objects or map. You map each one of them. You create objects of each one of each character uh, to the value, and then at the end you check if if the character counts are equal for both strings. And if they are, you, you return true. Now, it might sound a little complicated. The code is a little heavy and messy, but I'll try to show you through step by step. So let's start writing. Okay, so the first thing is I'm going to create the function const. I'm using ES6, so follow me through here. Const is permutation, permutation. So I'm going to take string 1 and string 2. So the first thing I want to do is, the first one, check if the strings are the same exact strings. Because if they are the same exact strings, then, there's, then there, there really is no point going further. Because then in that case, then you just return true. So, so check. So we can say if string 1 equals exactly string 2, meaning that if they are in the same exact order, return true. That's it, we're done else we have a whole work a whole bunch of stuff to do in here second thing check the length of both strings so we want to check the length of both string that's the next thing we want to do check the length of both string so we say if string one's length does not equal to string two's length then return false that's it then it's not a permutation for something to be a permutation of something it, they have to have the same length Turn false. Else, that's our final else. Okay, so if they're not the same length, return false. Now the third, this one is, is where the work comes in. Create objects of each one. Create map map each one to the uh, to their character value. So to do that, I'm not gonna write the code here. I'm just gonna write it as a utility function, a separate function, and then call it inside of here. So here I'm gonna say const is object so I'm checking to see if they are if it's an object basically so it takes in a string takes in a string and then I'm check I'm I'm basically gonna return the object of each character of um, for the string that is passed so led obj object let's create an empty object and then let's fill it up for let I of object so basically, I'm saying if let i of string, I'm sorry, let i of string. So each character in the string. So find so find each string if it does not exist. If it does not exist, that's what I'm saying here. If it does not exist, then simply, if, let's see, if it does not exist, set it equal to 1. If it does exist, increment it. That's what I'm doing here. So if it does not exist, set it equal to 1. If it does exist, increment it, basically. So basically, to show you what this is, and then returns true. Return true. I mean, return object. So let me show you what this is doing. So if I have a string, let me create a string for you. String A. Kunle, that's my name. So if I call this object on my name, 
what happens is it creates something like this. Let me just show you real quick. Actually, you know what? I can actually call this and show you. I don't need to show you out by itself. Let me call it and, and show you. So I'm, I'm going to uh, call console.log this to show you how this looks like, by the way. Um, I'm going to call um, a. So is object. Call the string a. So to show you how this looks like when you do it. So node test. You see? Beautiful. Let me print let me bring this out. This is this is exactly what it did. Let me show you the result. This is the result. That's the result. So k is one, u is one, n is one, l is one, e is one. If I added two L's in there, watch what it does. If I added two L's, that's what it does. Two L is two. So it's creating an object. So it's basically mapping counting each character and how many of it that there exists that's what it, that's what this function does here is object does all right so now that we have that as a utility function we can use it this this is going to come in handy so i'm going to use this to create an object of each string so const object of string 1 i'm going to call it pass in string 1 object of string 2 pass in string 2 that's what I'm going to do. Okay, beautiful. Now I have that. This is Now, what I want to do is this part. I'm going to check if each object's character counts are equal. So, I'm going to check that. That's what I want to do now. So, to do that, I'm saying if, if object wants, no, no, sorry, not if, let, uh, it's a for loop. So, I'm saying um, let i in object 1. So, I'm going... By using let in instead of let of, like I did here, let of, let in is is checking the character counts instead of the character itself. So I'm saying let i in object one. Okay, so I'm saying if if um object one if objects one counts, so basically it's saying, you know what? Let me write the code first. If objects one counts does not equal to objects two's count, return false. And then finally, we're going to return true over outside the else statement. Return true. Beautiful. All right, so what is this doing? This might be a little confusing to you guys. What this is saying is that it's taking each, or you know what? I let me see how I can demo this. All right, so it's let's create a a demo here. So it's taking let's say we have a string k just k let's say we have two of that one of that and then we have u we have two of that and then we have n we have one of that. Let's just say we have this, right? And then we have another one. Um, but this was giving as this was giving as let's say k u u n, and then this one was giving as n u k u. Notice that they are the same exact thing and and they are permutations of each other. What happens is that when this gets mapped, it gets mapped like this. When this gets mapped, however, it gets mapped the other way. Let me do it n n1 u2 and then k and then k1 so when this gets mapped it gets mapped like that so what this is doing here what this if else is doing and this follow up is doing is that it's it's taking the first character k it's looking for where k is it's looking for where k is in object 1 it says okay so k is here then it says, what is the value of it? That's what the, the let in does. What is the value of k? Oh, it's 1. Beautiful. And then it compares it to this object 2. Object 2 now looks for k and sees that it's 1. And then it, they check if it's equal. If it's not equal, it returns false. Because it has to be equal in order for it to be a permutation. And that's exactly what it does. Hopefully that helps. All right, so let's continue with the code. We're basically done. So let's create some test cases. 
tons B. So let's write rewrite this Kunle. We're gonna cr cr um, create a permutation of this. Let's just change the first two characters, E U N L K, and then create a completely different string that has a, the same length. We can say V O I D S Boyds. All right. So here's three strings. Obviously, A and B are permutations of each other, but C is uh, is not a permutation of any of them. So we can see that A is a B is a permutation of A, vice versa, but C is a completely different string. So let's so let's go through this together. Take a look at the code again. All right, so let's print it out. Console.log. So I'm saying, so we're checking if it's permutation. It's permutation. I'm printing it as an object. I just think it's more fancy that way. So we're gonna test string A and string A. You know what? Let's take test identical strings. So identical strings, both A's. It should this should give you back true. So let's see if that's the case. Identical strings should give you back true. Let's see. Let's clear this. So true, beautiful. We got true right there, as you can see. Right here. True. Now let's test. Uh, a and C. Obviously, A and T are completely two different strings, so it's not a permutation of each other. It's not. It should give you back false. It does. It gives us back false. Beautiful. Now, let's check A and B. A and B are exactly the same length, different strings. Um, they're, the same, they're the same string, but the characters are in different position. All I did was switch the first and the last character. So there, so it is a permutation of each other. So let's check. We should get back true with this one. Let me clear that. True. Beautiful. So here's the code. It works perfectly. For any strings you put in, you should it will return whether it's a uh, a permutation or not. Thank you. Hope you enjoy this.